go. Hi, guys. Yes, it is us. Thank you so, so much for you pressing play today. We are super excited as always. Thank you for being with us. Yes, this platform is called Just Us People. Yes, this is the platform where people like yourself, people like me, people like my co-host come on here and just discuss open conversation, open discussion, and we share our opinions, our thoughts. Together, we try to show our differences and our differences bring us together. It's not meant for us to be separated or divided or, you know, cause some kind of uh, commotion between the two, uh, between the people. No, this is a place where all of us are one through our differences. Okay, guys, I am Mokonzi, as always, you guys already, you already know, and another one. <laughs> and my wonderful co-host is Shadia. Please, Shadia, say hello real fast. Hi, hello, welcome. Thanks for being here. It's always a blessing. Thank you for pressing play. We appreciate you. Uh, we're glad you're here. And just as a reminder, every time you come, we're going to remind you, remember to like the video, like these videos, comment anything you have to say about the video, suggestions, feedback, whatever you have, uh, share the video. And also the main thing is subscribe. When you subscribe, you get that ability to be connected with us always. So you can turn on notifications and be the first to know when we post a video. Um, just make sure you do those things. That really helps us out. It really shows that support and we will greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Well, Shadia, what is our subject today? Okay. So this is a fun one. Um, and it was, it was tricky trying to, you know, figure out how we were going to get to this point of asking this question. But the question is, is the customer always right? Now, you know, in, in general, in customer service, they say the customer is always right. Uh, so with that, it's like, I feel like, and obviously we're going to get into it, but I feel like the standards have changed. And now it's like, you got to call and, and they got to figure out if you're right or not. You know what I mean? Versus the customer is always right. Now it's like, huh, let me ask you a few questions first to make sure you're right. Because if you're not right, then I'm going to let you know with, you know, the facts of the matter. And it's a little less helpful and a, a little more like, um, I don't know, it just seems a little less like gentle, like, oh, you need help. Come to us. We will help you. And more like, uh, you need help. All right. What is it? And that has really changed a lot of people's feelings towards customer service, changed a lot of people's even enthusiasm in contacting customer service for things because they realize a lot of times or oftentimes they'll be met with like irritability, attitude, whatever. And that's just not what anybody wants, especially not from a stranger. So yeah, that's what the spark of the question is definitely just looking into whether that fact is still a fact that the customer is always right. What do you think? All right, all right, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I absolutely love what you you said, what you shared. Yes, for me, I think that uh, <laughs> this is a funny one, but it's a juicy one as always, right? So mm -hmm. for me, I think that um, the customer is not always right <laughs> because. Um, I have I have worked in customer service myself, okay, and because of that 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 experience of, uh, that I've had, for me, I've always had, um, I've not always had, but I've had experiences with people where the customer would come in with already an attitude, right? So, like you're saying. You know, when you get on the ground, when you get there, you, the first time 
you get there, you don't know what happened, you know, prior to you being there and getting this customer service, getting this service, right? And as you're getting the service, you don't know what the the rep has gone through, right? On the phone or face-to-face. I've done a lot of face-to-face. And uh, you don't know what they've been through. You don't know what kind of customers they had prior to you. And I'm not saying that, okay, that's an, you know, it's an excuse that they can, you know, use that to, um, to treat, mistreat you by any means, right? But because of it, sometimes people take that and internalize it, right? As a professional, you're not supposed to internalize anything. As a professional, you're supposed to be able to provide the same level of customer service to every single one of your customers, regardless of what has happened or has not happened. But a lot of uh, customers don't think of the customer that came before them. Yes. Maybe they don't, they don't need to, maybe they don't have to, but they don't usually think about that. So when someone that came with some kind of uh, attitude already towards this customer uh, service rep who came in, was, was jovial, happy, ready to go, hey, Shadia, what's up? Welcome, you know, how you doing? you know, excited to see you, ready to give you the best service. And then you end up meeting someone that just comes in like, no, you know, there's no pull. There, there, everything is, is push or everything is pull, right? There's not push and pull. There's not give and take and take and give on either side. That makes things a little bit harder on the customer service rep a lot of time when this kind of situation happened um uh, in my experience it takes a little bit of time for that person to go and recenter themselves i used to have managers that would say hey if you need a second after uh, this person you know who was not very nice to you. We, we observed, we saw it or whatever. Take a second, you know, take some time, get back, forget about what they did, you know, or what they said to you or how they acted, you know, you are loved. You have the support of us and remember who you are, what you do, and remember that there are other people who are great here and, and, and that will be coming, right? So, but the, the, the hardest part is when you as a customer, now I'm going to put myself in the customer's shoes and I'm going to put myself in the right customer, not that person that's coming in and has problems at home, you know, uh, has, you know, whatever was happening to them and they're not happy, you know, or they may, they may have cultural things too, right? Sometimes it's like a cultural thing. They don't like your accent. They don't like your, the way you look. They don't like something, but let's say I'm coming in as the right customer, you know, um, this customer comes in, I come in and you already giving me this attitude, right? Like, man, hurry up and choose, you know, man, you wasting my time or not even like giving me eye contact, nothing of that sort, just, you know, ready to do, do whatever it is and not, 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 not allowing yourself being, being available to what I need. Because at the end of the day, you got to remember for me as a customer, when I look at the customer, the, the customer rep, the rep is the professional when it comes to this, right? 
I am not the professional, right? So uh, sometimes you find a person who's a professional, but you are the customer. You are supposed to be a uh, customer rep. You're supposed to be educating me, the customer, on the products, the services, whatever it is that you guys provide, sell, give, whatever, right? So that's where you have that 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 uh mi mixture right uh where someone will come in and you get into uh, sometimes in an area or you get into a, a certain type of store and you get that resistance mm -hmm. and it's like well what do i do here mm -hmm. and my answer to that is simple what do you do you continue being the best customer that you can be because you do not know what this person has gone through. Therefore, yes, you don't deserve it. And that customer rep does not, did not deserve what happened to them, right? Both of you don't deserve less. You deserve more. You deserve the best, right? So therefore, because you want to do to others, as you want it to be done unto you, you give them still the best responses. Oh, okay, I understand. It seems like sometimes I, I ask the person, you know, that I'm facing, because a lot of times they say, you, you, the person that you see is a reflection of you, you know, is a reflection of the state of mind that you've been in at some point, uh, maybe the negative energies or frequencies or vibrations that you've you've taken. So it's just a response of you into uh, your your own existence. So therefore, when you see that to combat that, you gotta combat it with love, just as uh, just just like a customer service rep. I would I would advise them the same thing. I would say to them, hey. When you see the next person, give them 110% of your attention, your care, and everything else, your help. That way it, it, it comes back. It's like a it's like a, a, a circle. And I've done that when I was in customer service. That's what I used to do. If someone was not nice, you know, acted in a certain way, the next person I will go so much above and beyond for this other person that this other person would, would, would you know, it'll just blow their mind. And if that, that other person is the type of person who's also on the same level, then you receive that right away, right? You receive that love back right away. And they start pouring love. They start saying, oh, you're so nice. Oh, you, da, da, da. Oh, you know what? Let's hang out after, you know, outside this place. Oh, you know what? Let me do this for you. You know what? Let me buy this thing for you, you know, and things move, move, move on. But yes, yes. I think that, um, that the customer is not always right, but needs to be treated as if they are always right. Okay. 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 All right, so I was just stuff down while you're talking, just to kind of get a gauge on what you're saying, right? So are you kind of saying take the killer with kindness approach? Like even if they're being rude, just it's cool, right? Because I'm a peaceful person. But one thing you pointed out is that these customer service reps have been through training. A customer doesn't go, you don't go through customer training. Like I'm not trained on how to contact customer service or even in person. I'm not trained to approach a Walmart employee. Like, but the Walmart employees, the customer service reps on the phone, they've been trained. They know when you get a belligerent customer, deal with it this way, de-escalate it this way, so forth and so on, right? So I understand that approach and I like it. I like the full circleness of it. Like if I pay it forward, this kindness, it'll ultimately, you know, continue to be reciprocated or given to other people but um yeah so I, that was all though the killer with kindness and one was trained and one wasn't 
you know, that's just kind of what I was wondering about. Um, but yeah, I agree with what you're saying. It is important to take into consideration how everybody is feeling in the instant. So great. Thanks. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. I know I, I'm not sure if you had more, but uh, for the sake of time, <laughs> thank you, Tatia. <laughs> I feel like you have some more to give us, but uh, we will come back to this to this subject right here. This subject is a juicy subject. I know you guys out there want to be on this platform, and you guys want to discuss and argue with us. You're sitting there and saying, Mokonzi. I'm coming for you, all right? <laughs> and you're sitting there and saying, Shadia, I can't believe what you just said. So <laughs> like, like, like we always tell you guys, yes, you can comment and let us know if you want to be on here. We are on other platforms where you can co connect with us. We have groups, Facebook group. You know, we are on Instagram and we, we are just growing and expanding. So just connect with us. Please don't forget, as always, do not forget to like, do not forget to comment, do not forget to share, share with uh, pressing buttons and putting our videos left and right. And also do not forget to, to subscribe and turn on the notification bell when one of our videos drop, you will be the first person to see it. Thank you so much, guys, for being here again. And we are going to go. Not sure if Shadia has one word to just let us know before I close us. I'm just going to let her <laughs> go ahead. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in today. Thank you for pressing play and blessings to everybody. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you so much. And as I, as, as I do all the time, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and everything in between. Thank you. Enjoy, love, peace, and we'll see you guys on the next one and another one. <laughs>